What's up you guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be testing out Catrice makeup products. I haven't tested out Catrice products in a long time. I did a whole video on Essence products last week. I got sent out tons of products from Catrice and Essence at the exact same time. So if you guys are interested in seeing the what is new from Essence video, I will link that down below or on our card up here. Today, I'm gonna to be testing out new products from Catrice. So they sent me out such a cute PR package with tons of new things. They sent me out new powders, new serums, new eyeshadow palettes. Palettes, blushes, lip liners, eyeliners, mascaras, a ton of different products. So if you guys are interested in seeing what is new from Catrice, then just keep on watching. I'm going to start off with primer. So this is the one step, oh my arm hurts so bad. I got my first vaccine yesterday. So this is the one step skin perfecting primer. This is a care primer soft tint with an SPF of 20. All in one step, hydrate for care and protect with vitamin C in it. I have gotten such good results from primers from Catrice in the past you guys know that the Tensational is my ride or die I absolutely love it so since then I've been trying to find another good Catrice primer so we're going to give this one a go I'm only going to apply this to half the face today because I am doing a wear test on a foundation which you'll see in an upcoming video okay so this is white and I'm presuming it's going to change color so yeah this is color adapting so I'm just going to apply this primer to one side of my face Focusing kind of around the nose and my chin area. So once you rub this primer in, it kind of disappears on the skin. It like almost not tints the skin because it doesn't add any coverage or anything like that, but it almost unifies the skin. It's kind of a glowy primer as well. I really like that. Like I said, Catrice always bring out the best primers. I always find the best primers from them. I'm next gonna fill in my eyebrows um, off camera and then I'm going to use the volume and lift from Catrice. This is in the shade 020 Blonde, which might be a bit light for my brows, but I mean, I never let that stop me before. I'm just gonna apply it through. Anyway, but first off, I'm just going to fill in the brows with my normal Revolution XX Brow Pencil. And I know this is probably too light of a shade, it's actually a really nice brown mascara. If the shade was a bit darker, I actually think that this would be a go-to product for me. So I might pick up the darker shade. I just really like this, how it kind of like feathers through the hair. The spoolie is really perfect. It's like the brow product from Benefit. I just really, really like, I really like the look of that through my brows. I don't know, I like that product. Okay, so next up I think I'm going to try out the eyeshadows. You guys know at this stage that my Pro Next Gen Nudes palette that looks like this from Catrice is like one of my ride or die eyeshadow palettes. I absolutely adore it, like, and for the price, you cannot go wrong. I never was really a massive fan of these eyeshadow palettes, but obviously I'm going to give this a go today because I haven't used an eyeshadow palette from Catrice in a while. This is very neutral. There's like one orange in it, the rest are all neutral, neutral colors. Guess we're just going to to go for a neutral eye look today. Okay, so from looking at the little PR sheet that they actually sent me out, this eyeshadow palette has been out for a while, but it's just been reformulated. So I'm praying that the formula is nicer than it used to be and that it just works a bit better. There's like this gorgeous coral shade here that I'm so interested in using. And I think I'm just gonna pop that on the outer corner of my eye and a bit of gold and we'll be done with it. I think I'm going to use the base shade just to kind of like set my eyelid from the foundation that I already applied. I'm just using that all over the lid. I think I'm going to go in with this shade here just to kind of add a transition through the crease. There's a little bit of kickback from that. I don't know if you can see. It's just a little bit dusty, um, but just be careful. Oh, wow, it's a lot dusty. I'm just gonna pop that through my crease. Okay, I might need to go in with a darker shade. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the shade beside it, which is this like darker brown. And I'm just gonna pop that through my crease. This is a very cool tone brown shade. I hope that this one shows up. Okay, yeah, that's a bit better. I do really like my Catrice eyeshadows. You guys know that. So I'm not trying to shade Catrice or anything, but I just feel like there's a lot of dustiness from these shadows particularly. And once it's on your eye, it's easy to blend out. I'm gonna go in with the orange shade here because I'm dying to try it. It's just such a pretty color. 
and I'm going to pop it on my outer corner of the eye. And I'm just going to blend it on the outer corner. I feel like if I had a little bit of a base to put down on it, like an orange base, it might pop a little bit more. So I do feel like I am losing a little bit of it as I blend it. The formula of these eyeshadows is a million times better than the way they used to be. I've had a lot of these palettes in the past and I've decluttered almost, if not all of them, because I just found that the quality was not there and again, everything kind of blended away. I'm gonna take a flat shader brush and I'm going to go in with this kind of goldy copper shade. Actually, I would call that a straight up kind of copper. And I'm gonna apply that to the inner corner of my eye. That's a really nice shade. That's actually quite a good uh, amount of pigment in it. Gonna go back in with that orange. Just apply it again over the copper. This isn't like the most remarkable eyeshadow look by any means. It's just kind of testing out the eyeshadows. I'm gonna take this shade here, which is kind of like a champagne shade, and I'm gonna pop that in my inner tear duct. Just brighten up in there. I'm gonna take the highlight shade here, and I'm gonna pop that underneath my brow bone. I'm going to take a brush like this. I'm just gonna use this to do a smudgy eyeliner across my lash line. I'm just gonna kind of flick it out in the outer corner. I'm going to apply a bit of winged liner and I'm going to use the Catrice 24 hour brush liner with coconut water. This is their newest liner that they've brought out. So it's a bristle liner. I always like a good Catrice eyeliner. I don't wear wing liner often, but if I do, I go for the brush pen from Catrice. And I just, I really like this one. I just think it's really intensely black and it was so easy to use. So I'm gonna do the other eye. I cannot stress how much I like that eyeliner, how easy it was to use. It's so fine and it can build up a wing quite easily without going too crazy. It's a really, really, really nice eyeliner. I definitely would recommend you guys giving it a go if you're looking for a new liner and it's only 350. So next I'm gonna move on to the mascara. This is the Volume Lift Mascara Lift Up. It is in this gorgeous, red packaging. It's kind of rubbery feeling, kind of reminds me a bit of the NARS packaging. It is a plastic wand, just if you're wondering. It has really short little bristles on it, so hopefully this can lift my lashes in some way. So I'm just gonna wiggle that through them. Okay, I really, really like this mascara. I don't know if you guys can see, but I can see all my little little lashes. I don't have long lashes. I mentioned this probably in every video, but this mascara is really, really good. Like it gets right down into the lashes and the little short bristles kind of like comb through them. In fairness to Catrice, I come across a lot of mascaras that I like. And this is another one to add to the pile. The formula of their mascaras are actually probably the best from a drugstore mascara if you are looking for mascaras. Definitely check out Catrice's ones. Catrice don't have any new concealers out at the moment. I am going to use my tried and tested True Skin High Coverage Concealer with Hyaluronic Acid. I am in the shade 0110 Cool. I actually need to get a different shade of this because this is just a bit too light at the moment. I love the Camo Concealer in Honey, so I'm gonna try and find something that's similar to that. I'm gonna just pop that underneath my eyes and then just clean up any eyeshadow out here on the corner. I'm gonna pop a bit of that down the center of my nose and just over my lip and on my chin and in between the brows. Why not? We'll just apply it everywhere. I'm just gonna blend that out with a sponge. This concealer is so good and the foundation, oh my God, the foundation was like one of the best products Catrice have brought out in the longest time. If you haven't tried it, where have you been? And go and pick up a bottle. I did a full wear test on it actually back in November, I believe. I can leave that linked down below or in a card if you guys want to check out that video. So I'm going to finish off the eyes and again, I'm going to take the palette. So I'm going to use this little tiny brush and I'm going to take this brown shade that I used through the crease. So I'm just going to apply that in my lower lashes or under my lower lashes rather. And then I'm going to wipe off that brush and I'm going to take the darker shade here and just apply that on the extreme outer corners just to kind of tie everything together. 
And I'm gonna pop some of that mascara just on my lower lashes. Because the bristles are so short on this wand, it gets right up through. It combs all of the lashes. Really like that mascara. Okay, so I'm going to set the rest of the face now. The setting powder that I have is the Poreless Perfector powder, and this is in the shade Universal shade, so it's suitable for all skin tones, I'm presuming. So I'm just gonna apply this with my big Bare Minerals powder brush. Set that foundation on my face. I don't have a new bronzer from Catrice, but I am gonna take my favorite bronzer from them, which is in medium bronze. This is the Sun Glow bronzer. Like, I love it that much. The name has rubbed off. So I'm just gonna apply this to the tops of my cheeks. Tops of my cheeks. <laughs> Top of my forehead, and then just under my cheekbones. Catrice sent me out this gorgeous cheek cover oil and flues infused infused blush and this is in the shade blooming hibiscus this looks super similar to nars's orgasm so i'm just going to apply this on the apples it's not as pigmented as nars's orgasm but it's definitely like the same kind of shade and it has that kind of reflex to it that almost makes your cheeks glowy I'm not a highlighter person, but because this was sent out to me and for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna give it a go. It is the More Than Glow highlighter in the shade Supreme Rose Beam, which looks like this. That is super glowy. It's like a champagne-y kind of shade. Actually, it's more like a silvery shade. Looks like that. That looks really nice. Well, we'll give it a go anyway. Like I said, I'm not really a highlighter person. I don't wear highlighters that much anymore. Okay, it's really subtle. It actually gives you like a nice glow. I'm gonna pop a bit over my lip as well. Oh God, a lot over my lips. If you're looking for like a bit of a highlight, I think that's kind of nice. And then we're gonna try the lip product. I featured one of these lip liners in a favorites, but I'm gonna take this shade today just cause it was sent to me. And this is in What A Doll. I actually really like this shade. I have used it a few times before. So I'm just gonna apply that to my lips. Oh, because these are like plumping lip liners, they have like a menthol-y scent. I don't feel like they actually plump my lips, but they just smell really nice. Quality of these lip liners is really good, especially for like a, such an affordable price. I'm going to take the Colourful Volumizing Lip Booster Lip Gloss, perhaps. And this is in the shade 140 Rosewood Hills. That will go quite nice with this lip liner. I don't know if this clashes with the eye look, but sure, it doesn't really matter. I've never used these before. These are actually really nice. They're kind of like a, a lipstick in liquid formula. And again, they have that menthol -y scent. They are super opaque. That is this makeup look completed, guys. What do you think of it? Do you like the products? I'm gonna go through them all again. I'm just gonna say what I like, what I don't like, what I think is worth spending your money on, and what I would avoid, and my eyelashes popping off. That's just brilliant. I'm gonna start off by talking about the primer, which I actually really like this primer. I kind of give like a tint to my skin, or kind of uniform it. I'm not really sure what the effect is that it, it gave to my skin, but I just really, really, really like it, whatever it was. It's a really good primer. I talk about Catrice's primers at length. I love all of them. I don't think I've ever tried a dud one. Maybe like one or two in the past that I've tried that I wasn't overly blown away with. But by and large, I feel like the primers from Catrice are by far my favorite from the drugstore. It's the brand that I would go to if I'm looking for a primer and I'm in the drugstore. They are so good and the quality is just amazing. Another product I really, really, really like is the mascara. I actually feel like this is like my favorite product from today, which is really unusual for me to be like that obsessed with a mascara. I just really like the way that it coated all my lashes, it lifted them and it gave volume to them. I actually think this is one of the best mascaras I've tried in a while. Not my favorite mascara in the entire universe, but it's just my favorite one I've tried lately. It's a really, really great mascara and I try so many mascaras. I think I try at least 30 mascaras a year if not more I think it's one of my most tried product other than foundations I try so many of them and this is actually a really good quality one especially if you have short lashes like me and you've tried everything and they're just always going to remain short you want something to kind of lift them and coat them this does the job it's a really good mascara next in front of me here is this blush this is the cheeks lover oil infused blush the one in blooming hibiscus 
really really nice I like the color of it it does kind of remind me of Nars's orgasm but definitely by no means the same pigmentation but I like that glowiness it gives to my skin it's kind of like a youthful flush to the cheeks I really enjoy that it's a little bit on the powdery side but again it's a super affordable blush I mean if you wanted to give it a go you're not really going to go wrong it's not going to break the bank as highlighters go this was actually a really nice one i really like the glow that it's given my cheeks i'm just not a highlighter person my preferences for highlighters have changed over the years and i'm just not as keen on them but i do really like the consistency of this it's not powdery it was kind of like a buttery texture to it it blended out really nice on the skin and it makes your skin look that that glowiness if that's what you're looking for especially at this time of the year kind of summertime i know we're coming close to the autumn but again if you want that kind of like glowiness i think this is a good highlighter this brow product is probably one of my favorite ones i've tried in a while and i will be picking up my shade so again this is the blonde shade it didn't do too much damage to my brows like it didn't make them too much lighter i actually think that the consistency of these are great i really like the formula it set my brows in place it's not like stuck to my brows or anything and it hasn't made them crispy or anything like that i know that's a weird comment to make but you know what i mean and then the eyeliner you guys saw how easy that was to apply i really like the packaging it's really sleek um i just like how easy it was to handle and again if you're a newbie to eyeliner give this one a go it was really really simple and quick and i just i enjoyed this and it's very opaque and black the only product from today that i don't really like and i wouldn't recommend it is the eyeshadow palette unfortunately there's just better eyeshadow palettes from catrice them generation ones are way better they're better formulated they're not as powdery i get more pigmentation from them i found that this orange shade as well as I tried to apply it, it just kind of blended away almost like you have to pack this on. Um, some of the other shades didn't really show up in my eye. I'm just not overly keen on these palettes. I never have been and I don't think I ever will be because this is the new formula of it and I'm still not that keen on them especially when you have the, like I said, the generation. This one is nice. The shades are nice in it but it's just, it's not for me. I wouldn't run out and grab it. I won't be picking it up again. And then finally, the lip products. You guys have seen me talk about these lip liners to no end. You guys know how much I like them. The shade selection is fantastic. They're really long lasting. They're just incredible lip liners, especially for the price. I highly rate these and I would recommend you guys running out and picking up one or two of them just to give them a go. They're super inexpensive. I'll tell you exactly how much they are now that I have my pure thing in front of me. They're 280. I mean, you cannot go wrong with a lip liner for 280. The shade that I actually really like and I I've talked about before is understated chic what a doll is the one i use today and then these volumizing lip boosters these are really really great they're like lipstick like i said in liquid form and i really enjoy this i like the shade i like how tingly it is on my lips I just enjoy the products. They're only 4 50 and there's four shades available. I'll try and get the pricing for the rest of the products and leave them in the description bar below if you guys are interested. Anyway, I think that's all I've got to say about all those products today. That was a long video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what other brand you would like me to try out coming up soon. I think Charlotte Tilbury might be the next one that you guys see. But if there's anything else you would like to see on my channel coming up, let me know and I will get on it. I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.